Yes, welcome back, everybody. It's quarter to five, almost quarter to five, and uh, we're here at the wrap up again together with Sandra. Yes. Welcome, hello. <laughs> and I hope you had uh, an amazing afternoon. We had um, two parallel sessions today, and I hope you really enjoyed the Nemo Science Museum experiment as well with the tonic. Um, everything was all about supporting research today. And I hope you've really found it interesting and invigorating. Please feel free to connect uh, after the closing thoughts in our network carousel, because you know, keep in keeping contact with each other. That's what we're here for. Um, but I have Sandra on my table again. Uh, great, or actually at my table yeah, again. Yes. How did you experience today? I think it went very well. I think there were very nice presentations, nice guests we had here. Um, and so, uh, well, of course, our champions today. Uh, it was a celebration, I think. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Would you like to say something about the Champion Awards? Because that's really, really special. It's yes. the first time. Um, first time and, uh, and, and I'm very proud that SURF uh, has done this because, well, like Ron uh, already said, that they, the research supporters, they, uh, they should be proud of their work. And I was quite su surprised by the reaction of, uh, of, of, the, of the champions. They were kind of humble uh, about their prize and, uh, and I think they should be very proud of what they've done. And, uh, and all Actually, all research supporters uh, are, are champions, I think. Uh, and uh, a thing that Ron didn't mention is, is we were quite surprised about the amount of, of nominees as well. Yeah. The number, uh, there were over 30 uh, nominees. Wow. So, uh, so that also shows that uh, I think that researchers are, uh, they, they, they really are uh, proud of, of their not supporters. So not, not so, so humble. humble, right. <laughs> so, uh, so that was uh, very nice. And I hope we can do this uh, every year from now on. I, I spoke to a colleague in, 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 uh, in, during the lunch and I, I think, uh, well, he supported the idea that, that we should do this. Uh, Continue you know, doing this. On a daily basis, uh, uh, that would be very good to well, really put research support in, in spotlight. In the spotlight, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And is there any other session that you thought was really interesting or do you have any other takeaways? Well, there are two very interesting uh, sessions. I thought uh, the first session, the Tackle the Hassle session, um, I, I found it quite interesting to see, you know, we have the digital competence centers now uh, coming up and, and how we can how can we support the researcher uh, I mean we can't do it on an individual basis uh, uh, coming years I mean more and more researchers will knock on the door <laughs> and ask for help so how, how do we scale up and I thought that discussion was quite interesting and I saw that um, there are things we can do in a gener generic way um, right even on a national way uh, giving training to the researcher and there are specials, of course, too, and, and uh, things that, you know, you have to do uh, for a high-end use or more. Um, so, and, and that's, and I think that's the challenge. What can you do for a, a large group of researchers uh, and, and train them maybe on, on certain topics? And what kind of special support do you still have to add to that? So, and I think that's a challenge for the for the coming years to see uh, what we can do uh, at the institutes, what we can do locally, exactly. and what we can do nationally. What do uh, they need, do you think? What do, you need, what do they need for that? Well, that's, uh, yes, that's the question, and that's something that we have to discover uh, together, I think, uh, uh, sort of with, with the, the, the digital competence centers uh, in a joint effort. Uh, so uh, to see what's, what's, what's needed. Exactly, exactly. So it would also be nice to get some feedback of the viewers of today, I mean, maybe they also have good ideas. Yes, I already saw in the, in the chat some, uh, some ideas that I, <laughs> I wrote down, and then uh, we can do something Could you that. share a few? I don't know. Too many. In my heart, I, I wrote them down, but, uh, but there were ideas already. Uh, that, that was very nice to see. Good, yes. because, you know, we have three afternoons of this three-day you know, research week. Why is it so important that we do this? for this field? Um, well, like I said in, in the opening, uh, in the end, we want to unburden the researcher and just let the researcher do his research. It's yes. essential. Uh, and um, so, so, yeah, we have, 
I mean, we have a long a way to go to, to, well, to tackle some, some issues and challenges still. And, and there were a number, uh, a number of ch these challenges were, uh, were set in, in the presentations. Um, but I think at the last session, Beyond the Border, uh, they, they showed us really high-end support. Exactly. But I think when you look at the future with artificial intelligence and, and you know, development on that area, right. it will be, become more and more complex and we, we go to uh, the ASA and CERN kind of <laughs> research uh, for, for other disciplines as well. So, um, so well, we, there's, a, there's a lot of work, <laughs> I think. Yeah, exactly. And what, what is the most you're actually looking forward to? Um, that's, that's a really open question. I know, <laughs> but kind of like what we've, we've had several uh, uh, items today mm -hmm. around uh, research support, but, but which, which development are you looking forward to mostly? Um, uh, well, I think still the, 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 on the area of the policies and, and, and okay. there's, there's an open science. I think that's, that's a challenge for the near future, I think, uh, to, uh, to handle. And the topic that we're going into tomorrow. Right. <laughs> a very, very good topic, I think, yes. Well, thank you very much, uh, thank you, Sandra, Emily. for joining and sharing your insights also this uh, early this afternoon with Marjolein together. And I wish you lots of uh, joy and good luck. Thank you. So thank you, uh, speakers. Thank you, participants, for another afternoon um, of your attention, your questions, and uh, I'd like to thank the Nemo Science Museum. I'd like to thank the technical team behind the scenes, the team behind the scenes, because um, there's quite a few people here. Uh, you don't see them, but they're really there to make this whole afternoon work and go smoothly. Um, for your information, all the afternoons have been recorded, so you can watch them back on the website, uh, I believe by the 22nd of April, and also at the end, of this week, you will receive an evaluation form, evaluation form, and you can fill that in, uh, will be very helpful for us. Um, and while Sibren is getting ready for a closing performance, I'd like to wish you all a lovely evening, and hopefully I can see you back tomorrow afternoon at our last day of the Surf Research Week. And maybe, maybe, you recognize this tune, a famous tune by Gershwin. And I'd like to end the day with a quote of this composer, as summer is gradually coming our way. I like to think of music like an emotional science.